welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will actually be talking about the brand Love. However, I have a really quick story time and then I did a little shop my stash because I don't really have anything new coming in until Saturday. So in the meantime, I figured why not go a little retro? So first, my little story time. I love the heart pouches, and I decided to pick up two heart pouches this past week from Amazon. The first one being this beautiful tiles teal or teal tiles. I think it's tile teal. Love it. Very simple. Just stick in my little hand sanitizer wipes, and I just attach the outside of my bag. So this is the first one. And then I received this heart pouch in brushed gray, which I love. And this is actually the pouch that I'm using currently because the bag I'm going to talk about today is in fact, the Scuttle. This I purchased from QVC about two years ago. Um, you can see it is stuffed full because I wanted to give you a idea of the capacity. Um, this is a regular everyday carry for me. So I also have my normal purse things in here. This bag is gorgeous. Now this is in heathered gray, this is in brushed gray. So the grays don't match 100%, but this is one of the few solid gray bags that I have, so I decided to pair the two together. Now onto this beautiful bag. So I have actually stuffed this with some things that you may wanna put in or whatever. As you can see, it does have the two tote straps with the full jelly squishy non-slip grips. Very, very nice shoulder drop. I will put in a picture somewhere around here to show you what it looks like, not only as a shoulder bag, but it also comes with, which I keep separately because I do prefer to use this as a shoulder bag, but it comes with the one and a half inch, fully adjustable, fully removable crossbody strap. So I keep that in this little pouch and I keep it in the interior of the bag. I love the fact that it has the crossbody strap option so that I can go hands-free when I need to. So of course that means there are D-rings on the outside of the bag which again, a little s'mores do. And then I also affix the heart pouch. Onto the back of the bag first, a very small little pocket. Inside here, I carry my two reusable grocery totes. There are two pen slots, as you can see. And there is also a built-in little wallet. There are four card slots. I do not see the RFID tag in here, so I can't remember if this pocket is RFID protected or not. Again, this is an older bag. It does not have the contrasting trim, so you have a little bit of difficulty seeing where these card slots actually are, but they are very nice to have them included. I do not use that, obviously, as a wallet. On either side, they have these nice gusseted cargo pockets. Um, they do not have a magnetic closure, so they do puff out a little bit, but it's not enough to detract from how cute the bag is. There is no wipeable surface, nor are there feet. Again, I say it every video, you know me, definitely one or the other, or if I'm being greedy, both, but I can do without it if I have to. Has a very nice uh, lug logo plate in amongst that beautiful quilting and also your dedicated cell phone pocket. I do like the size of this cell phone pocket um, and it does fit my sample phone, which is about as big as my iPhone XR with an attached pop socket very easily, even though I have it stuffed with things that I don't normally carry uh, at the moment. So very, very nice. And then I love this little feature. You have this little outside zipper again, smooth zippers per lug standard, and it is a little pocket. It goes to about here, just over maybe the halfway mark. And inside there is a key bungee, which I love. And that is it for the front and the back of the bag. Now, onto the main compartment. So I put in some items that you may wanna carry around, just again, to demonstrate capacity. As you can see, standard folders, do fit, but you would not be able to zip over them. Um, it does have a little bit of a recessed zipper with some extra cloth. So you can put it over a little bit over taller items, but these are just a little bit too tall. However, if you keep the bag open, these can fit in there. Can carry, and as I can demonstrate, I have zipped it up completely, are the following extras. The first being my Microsoft Surface. Now this is not in case, but it is with the keyboard. And then I also can fit in the 
Vera pouch where I'm keeping the charger. So that's nice. So I can bring that surface with me if need be. And the other additional things, just some standard paper. So if you need to carry just papers in there, um, <clears throat> you can carry that with no problem. And then a standard spiral notebook can fit in there, no problem. So those are the extras that I added. If you don't want to carry any kind of like office things or paperwork or what have you, this is my insulated pouch. I have a yogurt and a protein shake in there so it's not too thick. I literally can just stick that inside and it zips over the top, no problem. So it has quite a bit of capacity, which I love. I'll just show you uh, inside the main portion of the compartment first and then show you the organizational features after. So in here, I have my food journal, my standard Vera Bradley one, my day planner, and my butterfly gray splits XL, which fit in that main portion so beautifully with obvious room to spare. I mean, look at how wide this opens up. It's amazing. If you go to the back of the bag first, you will see that you have two cargo pockets. They do run not just about the entire length of the bag, which is nice. And in the first, all I have are a comb, a notebook, and a little flashlight. In the second, I have placed my smaller of the Seesaw Clearview pouches. Little bit of a tight fit, have to finagle it slightly, but not too, too horrible. Now, this is the one issue I have with the bag, if you will. You do get two Clearview pockets. So you have it here and there's a divider in the middle right here, but only one zipper, which that is not my preferred way to do it. So I either would prefer to have separate zippers or have just one huge pocket. That's just me. But I love the fact that this is divided so I can put things that I want to access more quickly towards the front of the zipper where it opens and then just kind of keep my phone accoutrements and such in here. So that's all I have in there. I'm not going to really bother to take those out. But that is it for the organizational feature is in there. Um, I do like this bag a lot. I forgot how much actually I haven't really reached for it in a while, but it definitely makes a great everyday carry. Um, you can, as I demonstrated, fit in extra things when needed. Um, it's comfortable. It's another one of the lug bags that it is as heavy as you pack it. So that's it. Uh, I like this bag. I definitely will keep it in my rotation. So as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Bye.